Hey guys, G Money Mono here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch fourth generation. Okay, first thing you're, I'm going to need you to do is head on over to this site, and all the links will be in the description. Okay, and download this file right here. And you're going to need to save this to your desktop so you can access it easily. Then what you're going to need to do is go to here, click on this, it'll bring you up to this page right here and you're gonna need to scroll down go down to here download iPod touch fourth generation save that also to your desktop okay now once that's downloaded you need to go to this file snow breeze one click on that and open it now I do have WinRAR but this isn't necessary for you to open it okay now you need to hit the arrow and browse for an IPSW and you're going to need to go to your desktop since that's where you saved it and click on this one open it should look like this click next simple mode and you can play Pac-Man or just do the spinner and once this is done I'll be back alright now that's done you need to hit OK should be down here do the on-screen instructions which teach you how to turn your iPod and put it into DFU mode okay just hit OK and you're done with this step now what you're gonna need to do is open up iTunes and hold in shift and click on restore and you need to go onto your desktop and click on the snow breeze one open that and hit restore and do the restore then what you're going to need to do after it restores you're going to need to go here open up iBooty oh and this should have count this should have came with this whenever you did it okay select your device and since it's already in D or just follow the on-screen instructions if it took it out of DFU mode I don't really know if it did or not okay let it do its thing and once that's done you have a jailbroken iPod but I have one more thing to add after this is done if whenever you were trying to restore your iPod and it said Windows mobile device or iTunes mobile devices is not available you need to do this you need to go in here and go to go to control panel go to administrative tools services and go to Apple mobile, Apple mobile devices right click it and hit start I had that problem so just to let you guys know that okay and there you go it's Joe broken and thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe